Hey there, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we will go through some commands which would help you perform network recon in an active directory environment using PowerView. This is our lab architecture. If you want to know more about it, the link to lab architecture video is in description below. So these are the commands that we are going to cover. Let's start by enumerating an AD environment for computers. And for that, we have the command getNet computer, which lists all the current servers and workstations in the domain. So let's see a demonstration for this command. So this is my foothold machine. And let me just quickly import PowerView. And now let's run the command getNet computer. So by default, it would list all the workstations and servers in the current domain, which is ind.ycacorp.local at the moment. If you want to find out workstations and servers in another domain, you can use the parameter domain and then specify a domain. So let's say we want to find out the workstation in the parent domain, which is ycacorp.local. And we have four systems there, as you can see on the screen here. The next command deals with resolving a host name to the IP address and PowerView provides a command for that. And you can also do that via NSLOOKUP. We'll see both ways in a moment. So let's say I want to see the IP address of the YCCDC machine. So I'll specify the command get IP address and computer name as ycscdc.ycscorp.local and it is returned 192.168.3.8 great and if i run this command without any arguments by default it will return the ip address of this current machine and you can also check ip address using nslookup utility so if i run nslookup and here let's check the ip address for ycscdc dot ycsc corp dot local so you can see that this is the ip address which is again 192.168.3.8 which is same as this ip address let's try this for another host and this time let's see ip address for av machine and this is 192.168.3.23 the next command we have deals with finding out the forest for current users domain so let's run this in our lab so let's say you have compromised this machine and now you want to find out the forest for this domain you can simply run getnet forest and it will show the forest for the current domain and as you can see that there is a ton of information that it returns that is the root domain SID name of the root domain forest mode level forest mode and schema and naming role owners. So this information can come in handy depending on what you intend to do with this network. Next, if you want to list out all domains in the current forest, you can use the command getNet forest domain. So if we run this in our lab, let's see what we get. Net forest domain. So as you can see that this command has returned a ton of output and it has returned information for each of the domains that belong to this forest and you can see that the forest here is yccorp.local and we have a domain called edcorp.local which is a tree domain in this forest and again in yccorp.local we have another child domain called ind.yccorp.local and then we have a child domain of the ind domain which is called north.ind.ycscorp.local and then we have another child in ycscorp.local which is research so if you want to trim this output and you just want to see the name of the domains in this forest you can use the select command for that and then specify the argument as name so you will see only the domain names that belong to this forest now let's say if you want to check domains in any other forest. So let's specify ubcorp.local. 
So if you have access or a trust access to this forest, we should be able to list the domains in this forest. So since we do not have any trust access with this domain or with this forest, it returned a blank output. Next, if you want to check the domain controller for your current user, you can do that with getNet domain controller command. So let's try this in a lab. Get net domain controller and it has listed the domain controller for this particular domain which is ind.ycscorp.local and you can see that the name of the domain controller is ycscindc.ind.ycscorp.local Next, if you want to check the SID for any of the domains that you have just listed, you can check that using the get domain SID command. So let's try that in the lab and uh, let's first list the domains. And now let's find out the domain SID for few of these. So by default, it will return the domain SID for the current domain, which is ind.ycscorp.local. And if you want to find the domain ID for any other domain in this forest, you can do that using the domain parameter. And let's try this for edcorp, which is a tree domain in this forest. So it looks like there is some connectivity issue. Let me try it once again. And this time it has returned the domain SID for edcorp.local. And finally, if you want to search for shares in the current domain, you can use getNet share command. So let's try this in a lab and let's run getNet share. And by default, it will list the shares on the current server that is that is the machine from which I am currently working. And if you want to check shares for any other host, you can just simply specify computer name as a parameter and then the name of the host as an argument. So let's see what are the shares available on the domain controller for this domain. And it has listed these five shares. So these are the default shares that are available. And besides these, no other shares are available from this host. Now besides these, there are few other commands that you can use to find out more information about and Active Directory Network such as get printer, get DFS shares. I have restricted this video to commands which I mostly use or if you want, I can also create another video with those commands. Just let me know in the comments. So that was all I had for this video. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you soon in the next video. Meanwhile, please subscribe to our channel Yaksha CAC and also follow us on our Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at the rate Yaksha's 443 and do check out our website purple80.org.